Okay, now the, the tricky part is going to be putting all this back together again. Now you might notice there is a rubber seal that runs around here. Um, this one looks okay. I've kind of cleaned it up a little bit. I've cleaned it up a little bit and uh, uh, yeah, probably ought to be replaced, but I don't have the, I don't have one, so we're just going to hope for the best here for the moment. Okay, now we've got these two bearings, ball bearings to put back in. And when I had pulled this out, it was vertical, so I'm going to put it back in that way. And of course, I'm going to end up with one on top and uh, one on the bottom. Uh, now, the question is, how in the world do you keep that bottom one in there? So what we're going to do is uh, take a little bit of grease, and I'll put that on my fingertip. It's the fun part of mechanics. You get to be nice and greasy. And I'm just going to put the grease in there, and I'm going to uh, do that on both sides. Now, in theory, the grease will hold the uh, little ball bearings in there long enough to, uh, to get this in, and that's exactly what's happening so far. Okay. Now, now we're going to have this go in just like that. That doesn't matter. There. Now we just press it in. do it. Okay, cut. Is it upside down? Just going to put this gasket sealer on and um, then we're ready to uh, ready to go ahead and, and uh, drop the cap down and tighten the bolts and then we'll go on to the real purpose of this and get our water pump reinstalled or, or replaced. We're going to put a new one in it. Now when I took this off, the gasket sealer was only on one side, and um, that's what we'll do this time too. Okay. Oh, one of the other things that are that's essential for this is to have a nice long screwdriver. This is a 3 16 that's this end, and it's uh, got a 9 inch shaft, and that's long enough to uh, reach down or in and do what you need to do to uh, get your uh, get everything lined up. We needed, uh, we used two of them. You could probably get by with one. Alright, and in here. Actually, I could use this. That's better. There's an O-ring right up at the top here, and we want to make sure that uh, it's preserved. And you just kind of wiggle it down and there it's planted. All right. Now there's three bolts that hold this on and uh, we'll go ahead and install them. I'm getting some of the anti-seize on here. These came out real easy but I noticed that there was, a, uh, was some of this uh, anti-seize on it. That's probably uh, probably why it worked out so good. I'm just going to get them all three started again. This is the, this is one of the ones you need to be careful of. We're going to we're going to torque it, and you need to go look that up as to which uh, what that's supposed to be for your engine. <coughs> probably put too much goop on there. Yeah, I did. Well. Okay. Now these are all three eighths of an inch bolts all the way through the whole process here. The only exception being the uh, uh, there's one bolt that's actually on the uh, on the motor itself, and that's this one. That's uh, nine sixteenths that attaches to the uh, to the motor. Torque wrench here. We're just gonna. Go ahead and 
I'm not going to tighten them all right up to the uh, to the amount. I want to uh, I want to have this come down evenly. That concludes the uh, installation of the shift rod in the uh, gear case cover assembly. Now we'll move on and we'll replace our water pump and then we'll be able to go sailing. Mm -hmm.